Hey there, it's me, Red Knight, and welcome back to Everdell. Now, for this video, I'm going to be looking at our Level 4 library. We need to start progressing through the library by adding in some of the actual guilds that are available within the game. And we're going to be using a lot of the research tokens for this in this video. So the library's now been upgraded, which is fantastic. That allows me to progress it more. As you look around, you'll see there's a lot of blank spaces still within the valley for quite a few more objects and locations to be added in. So as you develop the valley, you get more and more. Now you can see here from looking at my actual imagery, there's a lot of building still to be done. So at the moment I've got the Diggers Guild and I've also got the Researchers Guild there highlighted. I still need to do the Level Up Clay Diggers Guild, I still have to do the Researchers, there's the Stonemasons, there's the Woodcutters, the, the Researchers again, there's a Farmers Guild and also the Sugar Field. Now by using those tokens, I've got in the corner you can store up to 30,000 uh, you can actually get these buildings done very quickly indeed or at least for them to be placed down within the valley once you place them down you've still got to build them and develop them of course and that requires a lot of building tasks and depending on the one you want to do will depend on how many uh, are actually involved so as an example like with the farmers guild there's like 39 crates down there to do with the researchers guild there's like 45 uh, with the stonemasons again there's more down there to be done uh, and the same there with the diggers guild as well so there's a lot of coins required as well so you're going to need a lot of coinage a lot of clay and a lot of wood for some of these buildings and it's kind of cool to have them now once you've got these research guilds up and running you need to start sending your villagers there because then the villagers have the ability to level up their skills thus reducing the time on some of the activities so this level that you're actually here is very very important for you because it gives you a big foundation for what you need to do within the game to start progressing a little bit faster the sugar field itself okay that's going to require both uh, clay, wood, stone, and coins. Yeah, but the resources can be quite nice, and again, that's more products you can earn later. Right, well, we've got the buildings placed down there, as you can see, up on the cliffs there, which is kind of cool. Everything is located in the one area, which I kind of like. Uh, and I hope one day the path pieces actually connect everything a little bit more. And I'm going to be telling my team what we need to be doing and focusing on. So I like to communicate by using the description. So focus is the skill buildings. And then afterwards, I think we're going to go to the sugar game. Now, the actual monument, I'm not too concerned about. It's nice. I can't see any overall benefit down there at the moment, unless somebody else can advise me on that one. But at the moment in time, it's the skills and the sugar plantation. Once we've got those done, then we can go to the next level for the library. And we'll be able to open up a little bit more, for example, the fishing area, which I cannot wait for. That will be very cool indeed, because I do like fishing. I just hope the fish are not as challenging as they are in heyday. Right, that's this video. A bit of an introduction to the guild buildings for level 4. Please start working on those yourselves, as you can see. Uh, and remember, as you progress through the reputation road, uh, you'll get the ability to level up your characters and gain more uh, from doing that. Right, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, please do enjoy watching these videos. I'm going to include the playlist and my subscription in the last imagery just coming up. Do check out the playlist of all the videos I've got there. If there's one you would like me to make, let me know as well. But I'd like you to hit the subscription button. The more subscribers I get, the better I feel about it as well. But either way, I'll see you in my next video. Take care, have fun, and enjoy Everdell. Bye now.